multi-stage long-term process to gain Hispanic votes. And in my view, the first thing you do, the very first, is you find allies and spokesmen within the Hispanic community. Because you and I can talk about the values of the Republican Party until we're blue in the face. But we don't have the audience that someone has who speaks the, la the language and, 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 and has a, a native tongue, and who has lived that life, and who has the same life experiences. They're the spokesmen we need. So my first goal as a chairman of the party is to encourage those leaders to come forward to run for office, to get them elected, because they then become the bully pulpit for the rest of the party. That John Micah got hit by three things. One, probably most importantly, a massive shift in the, the, de the composition of his district, the registration, and brand new voters he'd never seen before. Two, eight million dollars. Um, you're hard-pressed to find, I think there was uh, maybe one other race in the country that somebody spent $8 million going after an incumbent. This was an astonishing sum of money, uh, a tsunami of money, really. Uh, and that's hard to overcome. And number three, the new district wasn't just new, it was qualitatively different than the old one ideologically. So if you take a spectrum, a political spectrum, say 1 to 10, 1 being very, very liberal, 10 being extremely conservative, I think it's probably fair to say John Mike is a 7.5 or an 8 on, on the conservative scale. In that range, I don't think a lot of people would disagree with me on that one. And I think probably his old district, prior to these court decisions, you might describe as a 6.5, a 6.75, something like that. Sure. You know, conservative, but not, not you know, it's not a, a rural district in, in the Midwest. But the new district is probably a 5 or a 4.75. For us, uh, I guess, a couple of the biggest things have to be our membership and our membership outreach. We have to do community outreach. Uh, we're, we're going to have a couple of events in a non-political, uh, not, not a gubernatorial, not a presidential year. We're going to go hit uh, local festivals. We're going to go hit local uh, attractions. Uh, like Pioneer Days, we'll get a tent there just to say, hey, this is who we are. You know, look us up, check us out. If this is what you believe, we'd love to have you and to come join us.